Hi again, I'm doing another video for those students who've reached their grade one. But in this video, I'm gonna be looking at two of the set scales, okay? So as you know, you have to learn your three pieces out of your pieces book, which you can always have the music for, but your scales have to be up there, memory, memorized, okay? So today I'm gonna to look at the two easier scales, which is D major and A major and their arpeggios. Okay, now some of you may have seen my video where I've used the D major scale as a warm up and we've done different rhythms, but for the exam, it's a much more straightforward rhythm. Okay, some might say it's a slightly more boring rhythm. Okay, so just to demonstrate your D major scale for grade one, we hold on the first note and then we go through the others and then we hold the top one on for two beats and then back down. So just to put that together without me talking over the top, first note is held on for two beats, then we go one beat each through all the other notes, hold on the top note, come back down, hold on the bottom note. So here is a demonstration of the D major scale up and down, separate bows. So. And just to recap, all of your second fingers on the D major scale are wide, so you have the same finger pattern on the D and the A, because we have F sharps and we have C sharps, okay? On top of that, you also have to learn how to do your scales slurred, as well as separate bows, okay? Now, a lot of people think this sounds difficult, but the best way to remember it is you do not slur the top, you don't slur the bottom note, and you don't slur the top note. So we have D on its own. Then I'm gonna slur the next two, which is E to F sharp. Then I'm gonna change bow direction, slur the next two, which is G to A. Next two. And then the top note is all on its own. And then you go up for the C sharp to B. Down for the open A to the G. That's often the, people, the part people find slightly more tricky is because you've got to cross the string at the same time. Then up. And then down on the D. Okay, so to put that all together, separate for the first note. Then I'm going up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down across the string. Up, down on the last note, without me talking. And what is often nice is if you give the scale a little bit of shape, so if maybe if you get slightly loud as you go to the top of the scale and then come away as you come back down. So let the sound grow. Come away. So that's D major scale, set the bows and slurred. Now every scale has an arpeggio to go with it. So D major arpeggio. If you think of the arpeggio as like the scale, but we're missing a few notes out. So D major arpeggio starts on the D, like the scale. We jump straight to the F sharp, second finger, open A, and straight to the top note, which is D, three fingers on A. Back down. The finger pattern that I'm using is zero, two, zero for the open A, and then three. Okay, so if I was to plug it so that you can see my fingers at this angle, we have zero, two, Zero, three, back down. Okay, so that's a D major scale, set the bows and slurred, and D major arpeggio. So the great news is, if you can master that, then you've mastered the next scale, which is A major scale, and it's exactly the same pattern, just that we start on the A string. So A major scale, separate bows, 
wide second fingers again. So we're starting on the A, B, C sharp, D, open E, first fingers F sharp, second fingers wide as G sharp, and third fingers, it's right next to that foot A. So same finger pattern as the D major scale. And slurred, up, down, up, down, up for two, down, up, without me talking, if you watch my bow direction, start on a pull on a down bow, And again, you might have noticed that I was getting louder towards the top and then getting a bit quieter coming away. A major arpeggio, same fingering as D major arpeggio, 0, 2, 0, 3. The notes A, C sharp, open E and top A, which is three fingers on the E string. So let's have a bit of a play along. Together, we're going to play D major scale separate bows, okay? And we're going to go nice and steady. We're going to use lots of bow, fill up those notes. And remember, we're going to hold on the bottom note and the top note for two beats, okay? So I'm going to give you a good count. And so one, two, three, four. Hold it. Let's try D major arpeggio. Fingers, zero, two, zero, three. D, F sharp, A, D. So after three. And remember, you can always go back in the video and do this as many times as you do. So after three for the D major arpeggio. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, great, now let's try A major scale slurred, okay? So a bit trickier. So, first note is not slurred, top note is not slurred, but all of the other notes in between are slurred in twos, okay? So let's try that. And again, if, you, if, you, if it doesn't go quite to plan, you can always go back and try it. Go back, watch my bow direction without you playing, and then try and join in again. So A major scale slurred, here we go. One, two, three, and do you know what that was separate bows that was my mistake a major scale slurred okay here we go Let's try that one more time. So A major scale slurred. One, two, three, and. And how about we do A major arpeggio together as well? Same finger pattern as D major arpeggio, 0, 2, 0, 3, A, C sharp, open E, top A. So O two O three 3 and back down. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. And one more time for a look. 1, 2, 3. So, just to recap then, we have D major, A major, scales, separate bows and slurred, and D major and A major arpeggio. The arpeggios only have to be separate bows, okay? So, get practice in them.
Think about how much bow you're using. If you're getting a bit of a squawky sound, you're probably not using enough bow. Okay, so fill up the notes. Think about getting louder as you get at the top of the scale and maybe getting a bit quiet as you come away from the scale. Okay. If you can practice those, it shouldn't take you long. If you can practice those most days, and then I'm going to add another video for the G major scale, which is a bit longer, slightly trickier, and the E natural minor scale and the arpeggios to go with them. So happy practicing with your D major and A major scale, and hopefully I shall see you in school before too long.